Hey guys, we're going to be replacing furnace and coil here. The customer has a leak in the coil. So we're going to be doing a new coil. We've got a 14 sear AC unit that they're going to keep with 410A already in it. Uh, I got a gas shut off here. Electric goes up to there. Got an older wire connected to it, so may have to ground it out. Uh, we'll put the furnace on boxes. We got a 410 drive. We're gonna need a flu liner. So we're gonna put a flu liner down there for furnace and water heater. We're gonna be on that chase. Front chase on the towards the front side of the house. And from the outside it looks like it's straight shot. Humidifier, I need to check and make sure it still works. We're gonna be doing a new media filter. So from here to here, we got about seven inches, so I was planning on just taking it loose here, putting our media filter in there tie to what we got as long as the duct works big enough so I'll put a note on there whether we're keeping return drop or if we need to change it patch off the one inch so we're going to do a box furnace coil we'll probably have about five six inches between top of the coil we need to flare out the plenum so make sure we flare it out trying to get some better airflow for them line set will stay as is thermostat's going to stay as is AC will stay we got combustion air through the louver door. No walkout, so you have to go up and down the steps. And the breaker for the furnace is marked in the panel. Good luck. <laughs> 